Cristiano Ronaldo described himself as a unique player and insisted his career was not over as he received a thunderous welcome at his new club in Saudi Arabia on Tuesday. The Portuguese superstar said he had done all he could in Europe and was hungry for a new challenge as he was greeted by fireworks and deafening roars at the stadium. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner, with five Champions League titles to his name, signed for an estimated 200 million euros to June 2025, not long after his acrimonious split with Manchester United. Ronaldo heads to the Gulf after a painful year that saw him relegated to the Portugal bench and cut adrift by Manchester United. His second spell with Manchester United imploded in November with his departure by mutual consent. Shortly after he criticised boss Eric Ten Hag and the club's hierarchy in an explosive television interview. As his relationship with United soured, Ronaldo was linked to a string of Champions League contenders including Chelsea, Bayern Munich and Napoli. A return to his first club, Sporting Lisbon, was also rumoured, while there was talk of a move to the MLS to join Inter Miami, part owned by former United teammate David Beckham. But none of these deals came to fruition and when United decided his diminishing contribution, coupled with his public displays of dissent, made him a pricey luxury they no longer needed, it was instructive to note the absence of a rush to sign the ageing icon. Coming at the same time as his acrimonious United exit, Ronaldo's failed quest to finally win the World Cup underlined his descent to the ranks of football's mere mortals. The story is different in Saudi for the football star. The packed 25,000 capacity stadium erupted when Ronaldo, dressed in the yellow and blue kit, walked onto the pitch, saluting the crowd as fireworks and floodlights flashed around him. His girlfriend Georgina, wearing the traditional black abaya or all covering robe worn by most Saudi women, followed at a distance along with Ronaldo's children. Ronaldo joins the nine-time Saudi League champions just weeks after his departure from United following an interview where he slammed the club and the coach. Al Nasr represents a significant drop in standard for the Portuguese forward who spearheaded title-laden campaigns with United, Real Madrid and Juventus. Oil-rich monarchy Saudi Arabia, which has been snapping up sports assets as part of a drive to soften its image, is often accused of sports washing or using sports to distract attention from human rights controversies. Ronaldo arrives just weeks after the World Cup in neighbouring Qatar. And as Saudi Arabia considers a joint Asia-Africa-Europe bid to host football's biggest tournament with Egypt and Greece. Well before his arrival, supporters carrying yellow Ronaldo 7 flags and blue and yellow scarves turned up at the stadium, some of them looking for tickets. Excitement is at fever pitch over the arrival of Ronaldo, the highest profile player to come to Saudi Arabia, the Gulf or any country in the Asian Confederation. Fans queued down the street to buy Ronaldo's shirt and his trademark number 7 and the club's Instagram page gained millions of followers after his signing was made public. Ronaldo's signing comes against the backdrop of a Saudi push into sports including golf, boxing, tennis and F1 as well as football following the takeover of English Premier League club Newcastle United last year. Saudi Arabia, led by de facto ruler Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, will host upcoming editions of the Asian Games and Asian Winter Games as well as football's men's and women's Asian Cups. Do tell us what you think about this video in the comment section and for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.